Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Obviously something's a little different um, and that would be my hair. Yes guys, my hair is like strawberry blonde. Actually, it was a little bit more vibrant and I've only washed it once and it kind of like died down a little bit, but that's because my hair's blonde beneath it, so, you know. But yes, I really love it, and I'm so excited, and I hope you guys like it too, but let's not make this intro too long. This is just gonna be like a get ready with me using my current favorites, or like using some products that I'm loving right now. So I did this look. I wanted to have a little bit more fun today. I was super inspired by this ColourPop Super Shock shadow called Special Delivery. And that is what I have on the lids. If you guys are new here, hi, I'm Kendra. I post three beauty slash lifestyle videos a week. And I'd love to have you join the family. I do um, love all my subscribers very much. So it'd be really awesome to have you join. Also, if you'd like to check out my Instagram or my other social medias, they'll be listed on the screen right here. I am quite active on my Instagram though. So if you wanna hit me up there, I'd really love it. Join the family there as well, if you have not already. But let's just go ahead and get right on into the video. Let's get this thing started. Okay, I don't know why I did that. I'm actually going to use my trusty old Becca First Light Priming Filter. Can never go wrong with this one. I'm actually going to use foundation today. I like never use foundation anymore. It cuts like a couple of minutes out of my get ready routine in the morning. I'm putting this on by the way. My Smashbox Primer Water. Cu cuts a couple of minutes of getting ready in the morning and I just find that I don't always need it unless I want to look flawless, like flawless base, which I do want to look. But sometimes I'm just super lazy and I really like the way that the concealers, like the concealers I'm obsessed with, the Makeup Revolution and the Wet n Wild one. Also like thank you to the makeup gods for making the best concealers in my mind affordable because that's really awesome because I go through concealer fast. What was I saying? Oh, I like the way they look on my skin kind of as foundation but not really does that make sense like I kind of manipulate them into the way I want them to look so that I don't have to use foundation you know but I'm using the Too Faced Born this way because I feel like I haven't used that in forever and um, this is the shade Pearl and I've said it before they don't really have a perfect shade for me because this shade is just a little too like I don't even know like pinky maybe I do have a peach ish skin tone a very light peach with yellow like it's yellowy peach so this is almost like a little too like pinky orange but you know what? it's okay it works plus I'm not doing like full coverage I just want like a good base so I'm just doing like you know lazy girl stuff <laughs> I think I'm gonna zoom you guys in more because I feel really far away I need a tiny bit more because that didn't cover all my face this is like just here's the thing I never wear foundation but this is just one of the best, to be quite honest with you. I just love the way it looks on my skin. It does last all day, but it doesn't dry me out. It's not a mattifying. It's definitely more on the dewy to natural look. Like It's not super dewy, overly dewy, but it does have a little bit of dew to it. Okay. I already said it, but I'm using my Wet n Wild Photo Focus and my Makeup Revolution, or I guess it's just Revolution. My Revolution Conceal and Define Concealers. And I just use a little bit of each. I love the Wet n Wild one for under my eyes because it seems to be, I've said it a million times, but if you're new here, it seems to be the only concealer I find that creases the least amount. I have really lots of fine lines on my under eyes because um, I was super fair and always have been. So as a kid, I literally walked around like this, like in the sun, you know what I mean? So. I have lots of fine lines already and I'm only 25. Hi, if you're new here, I'm 25. So I love that one because it seems to crease the least out of every concealer, even the Tarte Shape Tape that I found. The craziest thing is I can never, act, like people out there that can use um, concealer as a eye primer, I'm so jealous, like an eyeshadow primer. I can't because I have the most hooded, like double lid eyes when I look all the way, it literally like creates a double lid, that's what that means. So, I can't use a concealer because it literally turns into a creasy, wet mess on my eyelids, whereas the Wet n Wild one, for some reason, I don't know what they put in that, but it doesn't crease on my eyelids. It's literally a miracle. But I still use 
my Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion in Eden because there's still nothing better than that for people who have really oily eyelids or if you're like me and you have really hooded eyelids that crease really bad. I'm gonna use, okay, I hate the way I say I'm going to. I say I'm gonna, I'm gonna use, <laughs> I'm going to use the Too Faced Born This Way powder to set my under eyes. I'm not gonna use a lot lately. I've been trying to use less because I have been in love with watching Samantha Ravendahl's YouTube videos and I love her technique of like not using any powder but as dry of skin as I have I want to set my concealer like I, you know what I was just talking about I have really creasy under eyes so I need to set that at least a little bit you know and then I always take it down my nose to set that in place and then this is like one of the only foundations that I get smile lines you know because it's so like dewy and gorgeous it has to have some down downside to it you know I do need to add I'm gonna take a little bit of my darker shade of the makeup revolution or just revolution sorry I'm horrible at saying that and spot concealing I don't really have a ton of spots right now which is a blessing but just uh, just a little bit okay guys how are we liking this new hair on me. The sad thing was, I only have washed it once and it literally lost all of its vibrancy. It still looks gorgeous. I love the color, but it was honestly like so pretty before. It had just this like peachy, strawberry, like blondness to it and I kind of just lost a little bit of it and I'm kind of bummed, but you know what, it's okay. Glossier Wowder today, guys, if you have not tried this. If you're one of my new subscribers and you're watching right now, first of all, hi. Thank you so much for joining the family. I'm using my Glossier Wowder. I do have a Glossier Rep link. It can get you 20% off of your first order and also free shipping if you buy two or more items. And trust me, you're gonna wanna buy two or more items because whatever you buy, you absolutely hands down have to either buy the Glossier Boy Brow or the bomb.com so you're inevitably inevitably going to buy two things trust me because <laughs> I do every time so I'm not doing like a super thick layer of powder I'm just doing a little bit and I love this powder so much it gives you that like airbrush look but it does not stick onto any dry patches or anything it doesn't make you look texturized and it doesn't make you look dry or gross because I look dry and gross all the time I'm just kidding I don't but kind of sometimes I'm going to quickly do my brows. I'm not going to do them on camera, but I did want to tell you in case you were curious, I'm still using the Kat Von D brow powder in taupe because it's still the best, but they don't have like a strawberry blonde or like a light caramel color for brows, people with like this color hair yet because they are brand new. So I do mix it with this, what is this shade called, Hot Spell in the Petite Heat Palette and it does create like a really awesome like neutral colored brow but with a little bit of warmth that matches the hair. So I'm gonna do my brows really fast and then I'll be right back with you guys. We're back with some brows. See how they're like warmer? Are they too warm? I don't know, let me let me know down below because this is how I've been doing it every day. They don't even look that warm like in my mirror but in the viewfinder they look a lot warmer. Okay guys, so I'm gonna do bronzer before I do my eyes. I don't know why, that's just my new thing. So I'm going to take my Marc Jacobs. Um, this is the Tantastic Omega Bronze, the Coconut Bronze in 104. I don't use this as much as I should because it was $50, but it's a collector's piece and it does have the rose gold detail, which in the future they won't anymore. They'll just be silver, so I had to buy it. But I'm gonna mix it with my Becca Capri Coast. I'm actually going to probably do a layer of this first and then a layer of this, just because my Becca Capri Coast is so much warmer and beautiful and stunning. And it also has shimmer in it, not shimmer, like not sparkles, but like, you know what I mean. So first down with the, with the Marc Jacobs one. I do really like this bronzer. It's just like, it's just not as warm as I'd like it to be. It looks really great on the skin. It blends beautifully. It's just like not exactly, it's just very neutral, which is great. Cause then it works for like so many people, but you know. It's just not my cup of tea, but I am glad I have it. Like I don't regret buying it. It is much better of a nose contouring shade though, so that is what I'm going to use to contour my nose. Okay, now in with a little bit of the Becca bronzer in Capri Coast. Just a little bit, just to like warm things up, give my, my 
face a glow, a bronzed glow. Yes, I love this. I love how that turned out. Give me all the glow. Okay, let's go into eyes. I wanna have fun with my eyes today. Like colors, fun, that kind of fun. So I'm gonna zoom you guys in and let's get started. So today, um, since this is a get ready with me using my current favorites, even though I used this and it's not really a current fave, but um, sometimes you gotta switch it up. <laughs> So I'm gonna take this, which I've been loving lately. I haven't used many other eyeshadow palettes lately. I have just been loving this, and it is great, good quality. So I'm going to use this, but I'm also going to use some Super Shock Shadow for a little bit more color. So this Fortune palette is really just going to be like the base we put down. To start, I'm going to use this shade Wiser, and this I'm just sweeping through the transition just to place a layer of shadow down there to make things easily blendable. I honestly, this is just like a complete like winging it like I have a look in mind, but like I've never tried it before I mean, I've I've tried something similar, but no, nothing like nothing with the products Or with the like feel that I'm going for okay So I'm now probably going to mix these two shades to color called trove and 500 and put a gentle layer down like these are both quite vibrant. Put a gentle layer down on the outer V into the crease. There's honestly just so many different looks you can do with this palette. That's the gorgeous thing about it. You could do a purple look, a pink look, a duochrome look, a gold look. It is your classic warm toned palette, but the thing is that I love so much about it is it just gives you so many options. It's very similar kind of to the Modern Renaissance palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills, but this one you're kind of just getting more options. So it's kind of like the modern renaissance extended <laughs> um, This might throw everything for a loop, but I kind of want to bring a little bit of like Orangey redness to the look. So I'm gonna take Riche right here just a little bit and sweep it Up higher. Oh, yes, I like what that's doing just like kind of through the transition, but a little bit lower so that it blends with what we just laid down in the crease. Like nothing about this palette is revolutionary, but I really, really do love it because there's just so much you can do with it, you know? Like I heard a lot of people saying like, oh, it's just the same color pop palette that they've already come out with. Like it looks like the same things they've already done, nothing new, but I'm just like, you know what? If it's a good one though, I'll use it. Yes, that's what I was looking for. So the main reason I wanted to have a little bit of fun today was because I wanted to use this Super Shock Shadow called Special Delivery. And I just think that it looks super cool with the shadows we've already played down. Played down, placed down. But I also love this one called Flipper, which is just like a dual chromey pinky orange. So I don't think I'm gonna use that. And also like, look how stunning this one is. I've never used it before, but it's called Don't Leave. I think I need to save that for like a matte purple smoky eye or something. So I'm going to place this down on my lid. I'm just gonna take my finger like I do. There's me saying guinea. I'm just going to take my finger like I normally do and start placing it down. Okay, that's stunning. It really kind of reminds me of the um, blue shade and there's a um, a wet and wild palette that's really awesome and it kind of reminds me of the blue shade in it it's just like 10 times more packed with um a punch and color and um pigment <laughs> don't get me wrong i do love that wet and wild palette but sometimes you just have to really go in with layers that's one thing i love about super shock shadows is that they're so pigmented that you just you know you don't have to work too hard to make them look amazing okay so i'm like obsessed with where this is going i'm just going to place a little bit more of the Super Shock Shadow on my lid because we're about to uh, do some blending and I know we're gonna lose a little bit of it, which is okay because we can always go in with more, but it's so pretty. I'm gonna take a little bit more of my orange shade called Riche, it's like a orangey brown and I'm just going to do what we did earlier, just sweep it through the crease area just to get everything blended and looking seamless and gorgeous. And then I'm gonna take more of Trove and 500, which were the purpley shades, and press them on the outer V again, and also just a little bit up into the crease so that we don't lose that purpley 
look to this eyeshadow. And then I'm just going to take Wiser, which is that first very, very fair pinky shade we use, and just sweep a little bit of that again across the transition just to make sure everything is blended. I'm taking the brush I used with the orange shade with no additional product and just doing the thing, you know? windshield wiper motions. Because of my eye shape, I do like to keep the lower lash line fairly simple. So I think I'm just going to start with a little bit of the mixture of Trove and 500. And I'm gonna keep this really close to the lower lash line, not really uh, smoking it out at all really. And then I'm going to take Wiser, which is the first shade we use, and actually a little mixture of Reach in it, which is that orangey brown shade, just a tiny bit and use this as like the all over lower lash line color. All right, all right. Just a quick Diet Coke break. I'm just taking my Petite Heat palette and using the sh like the white shade with a sheen called Inhale and highlighting the brow bone. Just like an all over highlight. Okay, so we already have bronzer, br bronzer brown, bronzer down. <laughs> I'm going to take my Milk Makeup Lip and Cheek Tint in the shade Perk. I'm actually just going to start by like placing it on the cheek. Ooh, look at that color. Ooh, it matches the eyes really well. I just kind of start by doing that and then just can blend it out with your fingers. You can blend it out with the Beauty Blender or sponge. I haven't tried a brush, but that would probably work too. I just love this formula so much of this lip and cheek tint. It's so pretty. And then for highlight, I truly have been obsessed with this. This is the KKW highlighting palette in the shade number one. I am probably, hmm, what color should I go for? Give me a quick minute. You know what? We're just gonna have a little bit of fun and I'm actually gonna mix these three so disregard that top one. It's not my fave, it's a little too cool tone, but I like using these three. And that's what we're just going to do today. Just a little bit of each. I just like to always add a little bit. Oh, am I covering half the screen? <laughs> I like to add a little bit on my forehead, just to strobe it a little bit. And then just the tip of the nose and down the center, Cupid's bow. And then what I've been doing is like always dabbing over it with my beauty blender, or in this case, the Fenty Beauty sponge. And I'm just like making sure it soaks the skin, looks really nice, you know, the drill. Okay, and lastly, we're gonna highlight the inner corners. So I'm just going to do the same steps I just did on my face, those three same shades and place them down on the inner corner like so. And then we're gonna take that right on the arch of the brow underneath it to highlight the brow bone. Okay, I'm going to set my face with my Smashbox primer water. And then I kind of just do the same thing that I did after applying the highlighter and I just take my sponge and uh, press that in. Then I also use the Mario Badescu facial spray with cucumber, aloe, and green tea because it adds so much hydration. I love it so much. And then just to make sure there aren't any like splotches of water of the spray, I just do the same thing. Okay guys, I'm going to apply some mascara and I'll be right back with you guys for a lipstick. Okay guys, so mascara is on. I think for lipstick today I'm just gonna use Candy K by Kylie Cosmetics. It's an oldie but a goodie, still one of my faves. Okay guys, this is our final look. I hope you enjoyed because I really like the way this turned out. I know it's like not like a super wearable look, but you know what, I don't care. I'm gonna go to the movies in it, so I don't care. I don't really have any crazy plans today besides that, so. And I think the lip pairs well. I think like when it comes to an eye like this, you can kind of do like any kind of a nude, whether it be like a pinky nude or like a more neutral nude or a brown nude or even like exposed by Kylie Cosmetics. I thought about that one, but it's been a while since I used Candy K, so it's perfect. Okay guys, well thank you so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please let me know by giving me a thumbs up. You know the drill. I love you guys so much and I really appreciate it whenever you leave me comments or whenever you give me a thumbs up, it really means a lot to me and it really helps out me and my channel and my videos. I love you guys so much. 
Okay, I'm gonna let you guys go <laughs> Have a great morning, noon, evening, day, night, whatever happens to be that you're watching this video, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.